Hey guys and welcome to the second part of our speed build collaborative video. Now if you haven't already please check out the first part which is over on Ellie's channel. She is the one who was in charge of building the entire house which is drop dead gorgeous by the way. It's so beautiful. And she also did the entire front yard and the backyard, you know, the decoration, the plants, everything. It looks gorgeous. So please go ahead and check out that video. It's going to be in the description down below also known as the doobly do. And while you're there please also make sure to subscribe to Ellie's channel because she is fantastic, amazing. I love her. I love everything that she does. She is a huge inspiration to me. She's actually the reason why I started doing speed builds on my channel. So please go ahead and check her out. Give her all the love and support that she deserves, guys. Um, but anyways, welcome to my part of the video where I'm decorating the interior of the house. So for this house, I decided to, to use like neutral tones for the walls so I could have a little bit more fun with the furniture. So if you guys have seen my previous speed builds, you'll notice that there's like this this common thing with my builds in which I use like neutral tones and that's because um, last year my husband and I decided that we wanted to buy a new home so we looked at a bunch of houses and surprisingly a lot of the houses like use neutral tones for their interior so that way like every piece of furniture you put inside is gonna look good so they use a lot of like super toned down blues grays beige even like like a pastel brown almost and I really like that aspect of the houses because again you can go crazy with the furniture that you put inside for example what I'm doing right now I wanted to have like a centerpiece in um in the living room or the entrance it's not the living room it's the dining room so the dining room and the entrance and I wanted to have like a like something that would draw your eyes it would draw your attention so I wanted to have like a beautiful couch in there now since there isn't a big enough couch for that area I decided to make my own and I placed a bunch of little um I don't know if they're like sofas or love seats I don't know what they are, but I placed a bunch of them in like a line and it looked fantastic. So then I just added a couple of pillows on top of them and it looked amazing. Now for the pillows, this is a cute little trick that you guys can use or do if um, I think they come with the toddlers like that it's either it's either already free on the game or it comes with the expansion pack for the toddlers um but anyway there's these super cute little pillows that are for toddlers and they can sit on those but what I do is I put them on the couches and then I just raise them up and it totally looks like pillows so you can use them as decorative pillows that's what I do for most of my builds and ag again it looks fantastic there's a bunch of different colors that you can use so yeah go for it go nuts it's amazing um but yeah so right now we're still working on the the entrance now I'm imagining that this is a big family we have I think four bedrooms and I decided to make one for a teenager or a young adult and the other one is for either toddlers or children so I'm assuming that you know this family has a bunch of kids that go to school so I decided to place a couple of like backpacks in there and the entrance because if they're running late they can just grab their backpack and head off to school um, but yeah so this is a big family I'm really excited for you guys to see what I did for the other for the other bedrooms um, for now we're working on the kitchen again neutral tones I love my gray and white kitchens this is something that I love uh, that I absolutely love doing because it's something that I really like in real life I don't know if you guys have ever been to Ikea but there's this beautiful kitchen display room at Ikea that has like white tiles for the backsplash of the kitchen and then the countertops are these beautiful gray and white ca uh, countertops kitchen countertops so I really like those and I was trying to replicate that on this house it didn't turn out exactly the same um, but it's pretty similar and I really like it I just wish we had like more different types of kitchen cabinets I feel like that's something that we need more on the sims like that is something that I like it, the kitchen cabinets is the reason why I buy um, expansion packs on on the sims like I want more kitchen cabinets options so please EA if you're watching 
Please give us more kitchen cabinets. I would really appreciate it. I mean, this one turned out pretty good. It still looks good, but it's not quite what I wanted because it's not the exact IKEA type of furniture, but it's pretty similar. I still really like it. Um, but anyways, because this family is big, um, I decided to do like two kitchens and two ovens, a huge refrigerator, because I'm, assu I'm assuming that this family also gets a lot of family members that travel here because the house is just beautiful. I mean, I'm picturing that th this house is where they have all of their Christmas um, parties, all of their anniversaries, you know, the birthday parties. This is where all the family comes together. So we have a big kitchen, uh, like a like two sinks, two ovens, a huge refrigerator. I even gave them a huge pantry. So that part right there in the corner uh, with the glass door is supposed to be a pantry. We actually have that in real life in our home. We have a pantry very similar to that one. Not exactly the same because ours is not as fancy, you know, with the glass door. We don't have a glass door. It's just a normal wooden door. But I decided to just add that in there because again, big family, you need a bunch of storage for the food. So they have a beautiful pantry with a glass door so we could also provide a little bit of light in there. Um, and I also added a cool little section for your coffee and your teas which you're gonna be seeing in a little bit um, but anyways I decided to add that too because that's something that we have in our home and it's pretty handy because you can separate like all of your teas and different different types of coffee on one side and then on the other side of your kitchen you have like all of your cooking supplies I don't know I really like it I think it's very convenient so I decided to do that um, you're gonna be able you're gonna be able to see it in a little bit because right now I'm still working on the bookcase because I wanted to have a little uh, bookcase inside of the kitchen so you can store all of your kitchen books all of the recipes you know so I really like to add that in the kitchen I think it gives it a little bit extra you know that that family feeling in the kitchen but that over there my friends is the little area that I was talking to you guys about the coffee like where you can store your coffee your teas maybe it's a little bit too much but that's something that we have in real life because I am a tea person. I have a bunch of different types of tea. I order mine from David's Tea. I'm not sponsored, by the way, just letting you guys know. Um, but yeah, I order all of my tea from David's Tea and I have a bunch of different types of tea. So it's it's pretty cool to have like a, like a designated area in our kitchen for where we know we're going to be storing all the tea and all the different types of coffee that we like to drink. So yeah, I really like it. I thought it was going to be like, I thought it'd be cute to add it as as well because it's a beautiful kitchen why not add that little extra in it so I really like it I hope that you guys like it too now we're moving on to the bathrooms the bathrooms are also very like very neutral they're all very similar I think there's only one where I changed one of the walls. I think it's in the kids' bathroom upstairs. I don't remember, I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, they're all very similar. Again, super neutral tone. I love the grays, I love the whites, it's beautiful. You can't ever go wrong with a color like that in the bathroom, so I really like it. Um, but anyways, now we're moving on to the guest bedroom, or as I also like to call it, the grandpa and grandma bedroom, because this is where your grandparents can stay when you know they're visiting the family. So either you can have guests stay there or you can have your grandparents stay there. It's also on the first floor. So, you know, sometimes your grandparents are having issues going up the stairs and down the stairs. So having the room right there is just so perfect for the elderly because that way they're not struggling to, you know, get to their bedroom if they're tired. They can just have like easy access to their bedroom. They can go to sleep. They can take a nap. It's fantastic. Highly recommendable. Um, now, this bedroom I absolutely love. It's like like, I wish I had that bedroom in my house. It's beautiful. It's supposed to be for a, a young teen or a young adult. I absolutely love the colors that I used in this. It's a very beautiful pastel pink or like a blush color. And I also decided to do this, um, or you, sorry, this beautiful kind of like light gray, almost white for the rest of the room. I added some fairy lights with some pictures because again, teen or young adult, they like to decorate their room like that. And I added two wardrobes um, and also some more fairy lights or I think those are Christmas lights. Those might be Christmas lights, but they still, they still look like fairy lights. I actually have fairy lights in my office and it looks amazing. So I decided to do something similar to this uh, bedroom because I just wanted to have a little bit of me in, in that room, you know? I, I don't know if you've caught on, but I've done things that I like in real life in this house. Like, I, like I've added a little bit of me in every room and 
I love that because it truly feels like a home to me, you know? So I really like this, this bedroom. I love all of the bedrooms, but this one in particular is just amazing. I really, really like it. Now I'm adding some of the curtains because I usually I forget about doing those, but this time I caught myself and I went ahead and added the curtains, you know, to add that little extra, the little pop in each of the rooms. So thankfully this time I did not forget. So we have curtains in this house. Thank you very much. Um, but anyways, we're, we're moving on to the living room. And at first, I just it was just going to be like a normal living room, um, like, you know, where all the family can sit and watch TV. But then I was thinking if all of the family is going to be here watching TV together or watching movies or, you know, playing video games, then, you know, if this family has children or toddlers, they also need like an area for them so they can, you know, play, so they can store their, their toys. Because we also want to make sure that this family keeps their house clean so having a storage unit in the living room is super important for that um, because you can teach your kids even when they're toddlers that they can you know pick up their toys and put them in their little their little um drawer or their little start storage unit so i decided to use that little sectional over there and just turn it into a kid's section so they're gonna have their toys they can have like a spare change of clothes in case you know they have a little accident with their orange juice or you know they drop food when they're eating so you can have like easier access to just grab a couple of uh, clothing items here and there. Um, now I'm thinking this family, of course, they have to have pets so they can have either a cat or a dog. Um, so we have a couple of dog toys or cat toys over there and a bed and also a cat litter, litter box here and there. Um, I did forget, however, to add a food bowl. So if you guys want to use this house for, you know, your own Sims adventures or, you know, stories, just make sure to add a food bowl because I did not. I forgot about it. So yeah, I did not forget about the bin though. I did place a bin because that's something that I also forget about. So I did place a bin all the way to the very end of the video, but I did add a bin for the trash. So there you have it. No football, but there is a bin. Okay, so now we're on the second floor, ladies and gentlemen. So this is kind of like a gaming room. So we have this, um, what you may call it? Foosball table? Is it a foosball table? I have no idea how you call those. By the way, English isn't my first language. So if I am saying something that makes no sense, I'm so sorry. Or, or if I said something incorrectly, I'm so sorry. I'm Mexican. My first language is Spanish. So forgive me if I missed pronounced something. But yeah, that's the gaming room. And I decided to use the same colors as the entrance. So we can tie in the first floor and the second floor. Um, now we're working on the second room, which was originally going to be like a home office office but I decided to use it kind of like a gaming slash office slash homework room so this is going to be like the the computer that okay that's supposed to be a computer and two monitors I used two televisions but they kind of look like monitors so that way it can be kind of like a gaming area you know because you would love like I mean who would not love to have three monitors when you're gaming on your computer. So that's kind of like an office, but at the same time, a gaming computer. And then on the other side, I decided to do like a little area for the children to be able to sit down and, and do your do their homework while the parent is playing or working on the computer. So there you have it. It's a really cool little area for the children. And also we have this amazing and just beautiful imaginary room I kind of want to call it I don't know it's an area for the children or the toddlers to go there and you know use their imagination play with the castle read books if they still don't know how to read books their parents or their uh, brother or sister can read the books to them it's just like a beautiful area for them to just go wild and use their imagination like crazy so I really like that area um, but now over here we have the children's room now I'm picturing that the, this family has twins so that's why I use the exact same bed just in a different color um, but yeah I'm picturing twins maybe a brother and a sister or it could be you know two brothers or two sisters I use like tones that would go either way so I really like the way that this room turned out it is super cute and gorgeous I placed a couple of toys here and there and I also um, you're gonna see that I also changed the light feature so they could have like those beautiful cloud shaped lamps that I absolutely love 
So yeah, I really like this bedroom. I think it turned out gorgeous. Uh, but now we're moving on to the third bathroom in the entire house. Now this bathroom, again, very similar to the bathrooms down downstairs. I'm just copying, pasting, you know, all of the things as you guys can clearly see. However, in this bathroom, I decided to change one of the walls to be a little bit different. And I also decided to add a bathtub because this is the bathroom that's meant to be used by the children. This is the, the children's bathroom. So we need a bathtub in there and that's why it's there. And I also decided to add different um, colored towels so they know which towel belongs to who. Very, very important. So that way the children don't get mixed up and then when they're going to take their showers, they, they realize that their towel is indeed wet because the other sibling got mixed up. So yeah, different colored towels for the children to make life a lot easier. It's a time saver, believe me. I have brothers and I know the feeling. Um, but anyways, we're gonna be moving on to the parents' bathroom, apparently. And again, pretty much the same, very basic, copying and pasting almost the same exact, uh, which I'm gonna call it, things from one bathroom to the other. I also decided to give them a sink, but this time it's going to be a larger sink, more kind of like a spa retreat. I'm not sink, bathtub. I keep saying sink, I mean, I mean bathtub. They have a larger bathtub so they can just relax and you know throw some uh, bathtub bombs I don't even know what they're called shower bombs soap bombs yeah those things that make like bubbly things so yeah it's just gonna be like a big bathtub for them so they can enjoy their time alone in the in, the, in their own bathroom um I also decided to give them a little tv so you know they can they can watch the news as they're getting ready to go to work or you know once they're like trying to relax and unwind from a long day at the office they can just watch a movie or you know watch their favorite tv show just before going to bed so I decided to add a little TV there and the color in this bedroom the color is going to be changing in a little bit because I decided to do something different because I've been noticing that I do the same thing in almost all of my builds and by the same thing I mean mint colored bedroom I almost always have a mint colored bedroom because I love it that's something that I want in real life and I decided to do like I, I did it again on this build and I'm like no you know I have to break free of those mint chains and there is something outside of my house I don't know if you guys can hear it it sounds like a bus I'm not sure what it is but in case you guys hear it I'm sorry anyways yeah so I really like the the mint color but I decided to break out of that and I'm gonna change that bedroom in a little bit not yet because you know I'm still debating at this point but I'm gonna go back to the bedroom and we're gonna use a complete different color something that I'm not used to using before so I think you guys are going to like it um but anyway we are on the third floor ladies and gentlemen and this was gonna be originally like another like a game room or like another living room like an extra living room but but I decided to change it into a gym slash artsy room <laughs> The activity room, I call it. So we have a little gym, but we're also going to be having some instruments and an easel for anybody that, you know, wants to paint. Maybe the young adult or the teenager loves to paint. So we have a little easel over there. Of course, if you're going to have a gym, you have to have a glass uh, a, a mirror wall, sorry. So mirror wall for, for the people who are going to be using a gym. And we have a piano, a guitar, and an easel for the artsy people in the family. Uh, but now... I believe we're going to be working on little uh, little spaces that I left behind, like this one in the kitchen. And there's one right next to the stairs that I don't know if you guys can see it right there. So I'm going to be working on that, which took a lot of time. I didn't know what I was going to do. This part right here. Oh, gosh, I had no idea what I was going to do. I wanted to do another another um, sitting area, but it was going to be so awkward, you know, having like a little seat next to the stairs. Like who would want to sit there? So I decided to just do something very basic, a plant. I tried doing a little coffee table, like a mini coffee table, but it was not looking good. So I just got rid of the coffee table and it looks amazing. But anyways, we're finally back to the bedroom and indeed I changed it to brown which I think is more mature it's 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 beautiful I actually really like it at first I thought a, a brown bedroom really that is just so cliche 
but I actually love it, guys. Like, I really like it. I love the brown with the beige, with the white. It just looks super classy and super fancy. It reminds me of, like, those fancy hotels that you see on TV or at the movies. So I really liked it. I'm really proud of the of the bedroom, the master bedroom over there. Um, but right now we're working again, you know, modifying the teenager's uh, bedroom or the young adult because I wanted to, you know, be a little bit I don't know. I, I guess I just wanted to add a little bit more color into the room because I felt it was way too pink and we could add a little bit more color here and there because again, this is a room for a teenager or a young adult. So I really like the way that it turned out. I hope that you guys like it too. And there's the bin right there for you guys. And that is the decoration of this beautiful house that was built by Ellie. Once again, please go ahead and check out Ellie's channel. It's going to be in the description down below, also known as the Doobly Doo. And if you guys are interested, in downloading this build it will be in the community under my ea account which is marielitai but thank you so much again for watching guys and we will see you in the next one have an amazing day guys i love you bye bye